I'm Asher Gertner, professor of geography here at Rutgers, where I teach the School of Arts and Sciences signature course, Cities. So when students come to Cities, they often think that it's going to be a course about the great cities of, of human history. So some think that they might learn a little bit about Rome, a little bit about Athens, a little bit about Cairo, and that they could become almost tour guides that could take you know their family around the world and show them what's great about each of these areas in terms of tourist attractions and the achievements of human history. We're less interested in what makes city X different from city Y, or why Rome is a great city and somewhere else isn't. We're more interested in what defines the urban experience. The structure of the course actually is that we start off at the beginning thinking about different perspectives that one can use to understand what a city is. We really use three analytical lenses for understanding cities and cityness, what it means to be in and live life and experience the fabric of, of urban space. So the first is a perspective that we simply call cities as built form. It's defined by the fields of urban planning and urban design and architecture. Then we shift and we adopt a perspective that I simply call cities as publics. So what happens when you bring people into the space of the city? And here we read iconic text by uh, Jane Jacobs, The Death and Life of Great American Cities. Um, where she pr provides a quite vociferous critique of a narrower planning perspective that focuses on cities as built form. And then the third perspective that we use throughout the semester is one that's called cities as economies. So how do cities function as economic spaces in terms of dense clusters of human and economic activity? What is it about the density of urban space that brings the possibility for innovation and ideas and commodity production and, and, and this type of thing? So as a signature course, um, we try to have students understand the limitations of a narrow, singular focus on what a city is and to expand it out. The course works with um, academic readings. We, we work with popular writings on um, field level experiences of living in cities, and we look at film. These are probably the main texts and materials that we engage over the course of the semester. Um, we work across geographical regions, we have a global perspective, we work with historical texts as well as contemporary materials, we watch some documentary film as well as narrative film um, in an attempt to capture the kind of breadth of the urban experience. What I've liked most about teaching cities as a signature course is is really learning about the diverse experiences of my students and the urban settings where they've come from or have families or that they've they visited. So Rutgers as this global university, invariably when I'm talking about, for example, slums in Mumbai or the experience of gentrification in somewhere in a Latin American city, there are students that either come from there or have been there and they can almost always share personal experiences from these sites. So they both are deeply kind of rooted in an experience of urban life in the United States, but the ability to bring perspectives from all over the world really enriches the, the, the course content and the conversation. A defining element of the human experience is encountering difference, um, how we interact with strangers and the, those who are different from us. And while cities often on the surface appear to be representations of people in different communities finding spaces of difference and articulating their difference through different neighborhood names, different place names, um, uh, patterns of segregation and differentiation that have this certain durability, what draws people back in so often again and again is the excitement of learning something new, of encountering difference, and how strangers often learn from each other and become a resource for innovation and possibility.